hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain how to add a jQuery date picker plugin into a blazer application and here we got the final output when I use a Clixar text box see here the jQuery date picker plugin with a new theme that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new Blazor application. Go to File, New, Project. I am selecting Blazor app. Click Next. The project name I am giving Blazor jQuery Data. And I want to save this project in this code blazer folder which is in D drive. Click create. After that I am selecting the blazer server app template then click create. And here the project has been created successfully. Let me close this default window. Now before adding the jQuery date picker plugin to this application, first let's check the basic default output of our application. Let's run this application. And this is the default output of our Razor application. This is the Razor component. Above that the layout which contains some links. And at the right side we got one panel which contains some navigation links. Now my aim is I will add one simple input HTML element tab with a jQuery date picker plugin. So let's switch over to the coding part. Stop debugging. Our project home page which is our razor components. Let me expand this previous folder. This is the index razor. What I'm doing this h1 tag i'm adding the title jquery get picker example in blazor app after that i'm removing this default default code now here i'm adding one simple input element type is equals to date let's close this date input tag now let's check the new output after adding the input tab date element on this razor component and here we got our new output after adding the simple html input type element date when I click this calendar, so notice here we got some calendar pop up here. Now, my aim is I want to implement the jQuery date picker calendar plugin on this simple HTML5 input element. So, for that, again switch over to the coding part, stop debugging. In Blazor applications, the jQuery are bootstrap link CDN links or jquery snippets we will add on this underscore host.cshtml open that one in the header section of this cshtml tag we will add the latest jquery ui and uh, css cdn links for that again open a new browser and search for latest jquery cdn google from the search results, I am selecting the hosted libraries. Now in the Google hosted libraries, notice at the side we got a contents panel which contains a jQuery option, click that one. Here you can find the different versions of jQuery snippets. I am selecting the third one which is the top one. The version is 3.5.1, the jQuery version I am using. Copy that one and paste here. After that, again switch over to the Google hosted libraries. Now this time I am selecting the jQuery UI user interface. Select that one. 
Notice here the jQuery UI snippet which contains the CSS link and the jQuery UI JavaScript also. Let's copy this both CDN links and paste here at the bottom. After that, I'm adding a simple script tag, script. Inside the script, I'm adding a function called window dot show dead picker is my function name is equals to now we're doing curly brackets now inside this curly brackets I want to show the dead picker calendar so dollar we're doing double quotes I am adding the ID of the input HTML element which is in the index laser component. Let's add the ID property here. I am adding a simple date picker. The ID of this input element contains date picker. Copy that one and paste here. Here when we are adding IDs in jQuery or JavaScript, we need to prefix with hash. Then let's add the date picker. That's it. Now we need to call this function show dead picker here in the razor component. So I go in the page dial to at inject Microsoft dot JS interrupt dot JS runtime. Let's add the runtime here, just runtime, semicolon. So after injecting this interface, next, I'm calling this method show dead picker here. For that, I'm using add functions. In this functions, I'm adding a method protected async, protected async override task and the method name is on after render async which is a boolean type first render if First render await JS runtime dot invoke async the T value is the object here in this object the string identifier the string identifier is the show date picker. semicolon after that this first render make it as a false is equals to false that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser and here we got a new output so I click uh, here we've got some problem here. Let's switch over to the index razor components. Let's remove this type date and convert this as a text. Now let's really start the application. So now when I use a clicks the text box, see here it's popping up a new J jQuery date picker. Now my next target is I want to change the theme of this calendar for that uh, and search for jQuery themes and after the search results I'm selecting the first option theme roller. Now here we can find the different themes. Now in this website we can find the different themes for the jQuery. The theme roller, notice a gallery tab, click that one. Here you can find the different themes 
for example i want to add this theme which is a start so let's add the theme name stop debugging uh, here uh, not here instead of smoothness i'm adding the css styles i'm adding start the theme name is start now let's check the output and here we got the final output when i use a click the text box see here the jquery date picker plugin with a new theme that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to add the jquery date picker plugin in blazor application thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel